I heard a grim statistic over the weekend that Georgia now leads the nation in firefighter suicides. Let me repeat, in 2023, there were more firefighters that died by suicide in Georgia than any other state. We also know that law enforcement officers in our state are more likely to die by suicide than in the line of duty. And this is across the board among all our police officers, firefighters, paramedics, and all first responder personnel. We have seen a rise in recent years in suicides, alcohol dependency, and divorces. Every day our first responders put their lives on the line, but they also put their mental health on the line. Daily they are seeing, hearing, and experiencing the unimaginable, the unimaginable, and the PTSD that often follows is real. In some ways, this brand of PTSD is even more acute than what our combat zone military personnel experience because in the armed forces, there's usually a limited amount of time and exposure. But with first responders, it is the daily pylon, the accumulating compound impact day after day across a multi-year career that is particularly debilitating. The good news is one can recover from PTSD with the proper treatment. HB 451 provides all of our public first responders a health benefit for PTSD treatment when experienced in the line of duty. It is a nominal investment, but it will pay off big benefits for a healthy first responder workforce that can serve for the long term.